Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Happy late Thursday afternoon. Hope you had a good day. Hope the day's treated you well. You've enjoyed some of that sun. And you also watched my video from earlier, which if you haven't, go on, get yourself gone. And um, this video is centered around the interest in Bournemouth defender Lloyd Kelly, as well as a little bit of new interest coming through from not only ourselves, but other teams in the Genoa's midfielder, Morton Frendrup. Frendrup? Um, so we'll talk a little bit about both of those things as well. I just want to say, if you're new, subscribe. You're very much welcome to join us for the journey. Shout out Tony on that front again. If you have, if you know, you know. Let's talk though, Lloyd Kelly. And I've got a couple of different articles. First one from Ekron Canoy said that Newcastle will offer defender Lloyd Kelly a three-year contract. Arsenal, Liverpool, Tottenham and AC Milan have been linked with the English player. Football Insider have also said, through an exclusive, Tottenham are readying talks with soon available Bournemouth star Lloyd Kelly. He has rejected multiple contract offers from the Cherries, with his deal set to expire at the end of the season. I've, um, obviously I've spent probably, probably about an hour worth of my life speaking about Lloyd Kelly on just this channel alone. Looking into next season when, you know, there's an opportunity for European football, you're playing to maybe even three times a week if you're not lucky. There's a situation where you have to kind of look at it and go, we do need bodies. You know, we're not going to go into... I think if you do get European football next season, you're not going to go into the summer with us signing two or three players and saying that's enough. Because obviously we've seen this season, it's not enough even with just the league alone through Ange's demands on the squad. Yes, you may be Solomon's coming back. And yes, you've had Session been injured you know, the majority of the season, and, and to be fair, so Solomon. Dragusian and Timo coming in in January is fantastic, but Timo may not be here in the summer. You know, I'm not saying he should or shouldn't be. I'm just saying there's an opportunity that he may not be. You have Mickey, Kuti, and Radu Dragusian. I don't fancy Ben Davies as being the fourth centre half. Okay. I don't mind Ben Davies being the fifth centre half, by the way, but just not the fourth. So for me, I think we need to have someone in that centre back room that's new. Now, I've talked about in plenty of other videos of saying what do Spurs need? Right, we need a backup goalkeeper. Because I think Forster will drop to the number three. You need a younger guy in at the number two, who Forster through experience is probably more experienced than the majority of our squad can help. So is Vic. Vic will have that experience in the Premier League now to help as well. You also have the issue at left back because Ben Davies is solid, but we've seen him at left back. I'm not overly impressed. He's probably actually better at centre half now. Sess has missed injury all season. Obviously, Perisic is gone. You look at right back with Emerson. Emerson defensively solid. Doesn't really offer you anything offensively. And through our system, the right back needs to be someone that is going to create a lot of opportunities because Destiny creates a good amount through his sort of link up play. Poro is a guy that bombs things into the box. Emerson doesn't really offer you that ability, so I think you need to get a right back. So already alone through keeper and defence, you need a keeper, a left back, a right back and a centre half. You need four players alone. We've not reached the midfield, we've not reached the attack. Now I know we're not going to sort everything this summer in terms of needs and wants. And I think, you know, I've talked about how Kulisewski could drop into more of a midfield role, but you, you know, you're going to lose Hoiberg, you may lose a Celso, you may lose Skip. You're not going to replace, you know, three guys. As you know, you're not sorry. You're not going to do those four. You know, maybe Kulusevski is Lacelso's replacement. Fine, but you're not going to replace another two. So that's six, and then go. You need a couple of wingers and a striker. You're not going to get nine signings this summer. It's not going to happen. So being realistic, I think you need you need to get a keeper. I think you need a centre half, and I think you need a left back. Emerson's good enough for now. But it is, you know, borrowed time. So with Lloyd Kelly and, you you know, Spurs have no financial fair play issues. Spurs are actually only increasing their ability to have no issues. Lloyd Kelly makes a ton of sense because he's there. He's prem proven. He's homegrown. You know, he's English, which is included in that, which is helpful. He can also do Ange's system. He can defend in space. He's athletic enough. He's good enough with the ball. It makes a ton of sense. And if you look at your centre-half room and you've got Mickey, Cootie, Lloyd... And Radu, I think that's a bloody solid centre-back room. That's why I think it's important. So hopefully your Spurs... I actually do want Spurs to be in this. Because it's a cheap deal. It's sitting there on the plate. You can get him sorted. He'll be in before 
we go away for pre-season tour. And that's the important thing, getting a lot of our deals before that tour starts, because that way, when they do go away, it's just bonding and gelling time, not, oh, we've integrated this guy right at the end of it. Oh, we've integrated, no, want them there so they can go together. Moving into Ekron Kunor talking about the Genoa midfielder, Morton Friendrup. He said that Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham and Juventus are monitoring the situation of Morton Friendrup, Genoa's 22-year-old Danish player. Mother, many other European clubs are linked with a Danish, Danish midfielder as well. Now, key thing, Genoa midfielder. Spurs have got a relationship with Genoa, obviously. Dragusian coming in January. Uh, Jed Spence obviously going in January towards them. Obviously, money being sent towards them as well because of um, the deal for Dragusian. Look, Genoa have already said they've got a great relationship with Spurs. That will stand us in good stead. Um, if it's someone that we truly want, it's not, I'm not going to say it's a deal that's easy. I'm just saying it's a deal that would probably be easier for us than maybe... Other teams knowing that, well, Juventus have money issues. We don't. We have a relationship with Genoa. Other teams don't. You see what I mean? I'm, I'm not saying you want to come to us over those teams. I'm just saying, you know, black and white, plain as day, the deal should be easier for us than other teams. But let's talk Morton. So he's 21 years old. Uh, he turns 22 on April 7th. Charles Market value is around 10 million euros. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it's going to cost about 20 million euros. I'm going to say something like that, okay? So... Double the price to be on the uh, maybe more conservative side. Uh, central midfielder plays the six and the eight. He's actually got um, that ability. He also plays some somewhat the left midfield, which is kind of ironic. So, you know, inverted fullback. I don't know. Um, yeah, so when we look at it for him this season, he's played in 28 games. He's scored one, assisting five. And that's across the Syria and the Italy Cup. He's played two, just short of 2,000. 400 minutes. He's played a ton of football. I um, I don't hate the move. This is maybe a Paratici masterclass coming in. And by the way, I've not been let down by Paratici in terms of his moves in Serie A. There's been some other moves that I found a bit questionable, but Serie A moves, he's money. He's like ta he's like taking a guy to the casino and he counts cards. He knows what's coming. Hit, hit on blackjack. Hit, hit on 19. Trust me, the two's coming up. Boom, two, 21. You know, that kind of vibe. He's like, oh yeah, no, uh, fold that hand, you know, play that hand, go all in. He just knows it's like it's like free money in a way. <clears throat> I've not been let down. Dragusian's too early to tell, um, but I'd like I like Dragusian. I think you'll soon see some of Dragusian, and I think especially if we were like you know, let's say last weekend we we were we were playing Chris Pass. Let's say with like two 0 up or three 0 Send him on, send him on for half an hour, get Romero off, you know, whatever. I want to see a little bit of him, you know. I haven't seen enough of him and I do want to see him. I'm, I'm a stan. I'm a Dragusian guy. He's terrifying in a good way, but he's terrifying. I want to see a little bit more of him. But with Morton, suits the system, definitely. Uh, a guy that I think would flourish in the system. And the fact that, you know, he does actually create, which is quite nice. You know, he's early, sort of early mid-20s in that realm, which I think... You know, you've got a long shelf life on him as well. That helps. I don't mind the deal whatsoever. I don't need to be that expensive. And I think, you know, when we look at Gallagher, who's going to cost 40 million or, you know, within that realm with high wages, you know, this guy's going to be half the price with half the wages. And that's the way, you know, Spurs are probably going to look at it because, you know, there is sell-on value. You know, maybe he, he's a decent player, but doesn't hit the height. You could sell him on for what you bought him for. Easy. That's what they're trying to do with Pierre Heuberg. So we shall see on Morton. But anyway, guys, then the video, hope you enjoyed. Drop a like on the video if you did. Hit me in the comments section your thoughts and feelings about Lloyd, about Newcastle wanting to offer him a deal, about Spurs wanting to talk uh, open talks, as well as the interest in Morton Friendrup. And subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, then the video, I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys.